Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello everyone, this is Marcus Brownlee, and welcome to a screencast for LockerGnome.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an alternative to Adobe's PDF Reader 8 called Foxit Reader 3.0. In order to find this PDF reader, you can visit any major search engine and search Foxit Reader. And the first link will be from foxitsoftware.com. Their site allows you to view all of their Foxit software, which I suggest you check out. On the left-hand side is their non-bloat PDF reader, and the download button links to a CNET mirror where you can get the full version for just 5 megabytes. Foxit Reader 3.0 actually proved to open in about half the time it took Adobe's PDF Reader 8 to load. It gets rid of a splash screen and goes straight to opening the PDF. The interface also mimics Adobe's, so you don't have to change your reading habits. When you first open the PDF reader, it prompts you to either share PDFs and documents online, or open a PDF file like we will now. Here I'll open one on my desktop that I've saved that is 35 pages long, and as you can see it almost opens instantaneously. This is a massive improvement over the speed of Adobe's PDF reader 8. Another one of the very nice features in Adobe 1.0 is that it allows you to directly attach a PDF you're working on and attach it as a composition message in your default email client and open it up. Which is really convenient if you want to work on something and show your boss your PDF before you're done, before, say, you present it. Another nice and very helpful feature of this PDF reader is the ability to view a PDF as a text document. So in a normal PDF, you're actually not able to copy and paste text from the document. But in a compatible document, you can click this button and actually copy and paste sentences and letters and words from the PDF and copy and paste to, say, a Word document or a Notepad document, which is an actually surprisingly useful feature. Back in the regular viewing version of the PDF, we can also write notes on our PDF. Here's how. Go up to the top in the comments section and drop down and use the underline text tool to underline certain letters of text. Very nice, simple feature. The second way, you can actually hit comments and go all the way down to drawing markup tools. And you can go down to the pencil tool and go ahead and hit OK. And you are now able to write on your PDF. This is actually a really nice feature that I found. You can also save the final version of the PDF that you've written on and send that to somebody in order to highlight things or uh, demonstrate things. So this is a quite nice feature and another advantage that it presents it so easily over Adobe Reader 8. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Foxit Reader 3.0, and thanks for watching. Peace.